Good morning, everybody. I'm Ed Parco with Mike Kelly, and we're Real Estate Jerky Daily. How's it going for you on this wonderful Friday? Yeah, how is it going for you? Going great. I was looking at the weather up in Pinecrest this weekend. Uh, Sunday max, 39 degrees. Saturday, I think it's 45 or something like that with rain. I think the weather has become um, uh, the bipolar. How did that get going? What happened? It says we're live. I know. I was looking. It says something about, oh, it's telling and helping the brave. Uh, hey, th- you got one of your people's live. <laughs> anyway, um, what's, what's about today? What was today? Oh, that's right. Your BLS job report. I can't wait for the Bureau of Labor Statistics. <laughs> the BLS, Statistics. Right. The BLS jobs report showed that there was an increase of 175,000 jobs in the month of April, which was below the expectation of 243,000. I don't Empl- believe it. Employment gains in February and March combined were revised lower by 22,000. The, the, remember, they have that death birth rate thing that they do for b- small businesses because they can't track it. Mm. And it has like a 300 and some thousand difference. And if that wasn't in that whole thing, we would see more negative numbers. Yeah, that's what I would so, expect. Right. Well, the thing is, like, you know, the employment rate comes from calling homes, right? And say, hey, how's it going? Well, an employment rate increase uh, instead of one tenth to three point nine percent, so one tenth of percent up, which was higher than the estimate of three point eight. Average weekly earnings are down by one tenth, and the, and the month they're up thirty nine three point nine percent year over year. Let me try that again for the month and up three point nine percent year over year. But there was only twenty five thousand people they talked to. And it has what? it has a varier a variable of sixty six thousand one way or the other. So it sounds to me like this these statistics are absolute bullshit. Yeah, BLS job report is actually very much so, and it also showed that there was more hospital gain in, and um, and also helping um, with you know social services. Who's paying attention to these Bureau of Labor statistics? Uh, not many today because the bond market is up 35 basis points. Oh, good. And the 10-year is up, uh, is went to 4.51. That's which later earlier this week it was like 4.75. So we're, we've been going down. So we rallied yesterday about 35 basis points. We're about 35 basis points today. So we're nowhere. We're a third back to where we were okay. before all this went negative. And the stock market seems to be doing. Kind of okay. Well, they were doing great, and now they're they're taking a little. Yeah, here well, they and got there. they're probably taking profits right now, right? Because yeah, that's what I would do. This takes the profits because yeah, do I we have, have any, no idea? I, I gotta take some. So if you look at all the job things that came out this week, it's overall is showing that there is a softening in the the job market. Yeah, yeah, one would think. No, that's what that's the overall consensus. Besides yeah. myself, everybody else is saying the same thing. If you take all this together, it's not as good as people have been thinking. Um, but you know, again, thank God our president has created nine million jobs and <laughs> President Trump, you know, he was the worst president when it came to job creation. Oh, did, did you did you hear did you hear that when the, what's her name was saying Nancy Pelosi was saying it on the news channel and they were saying President Trump was the worst president for job creation the lady's like we were in a pandemic yeah and they shut down everything and she's like are you can support him all you want but this he is the worst <laughs> it's like come on people let's oh facts, not this you know it's that book i have how to lie with statistics yeah mark twain said there's lies damn lies and then statistics and that's the problem you get to find the quote uh ronald reagan had about um pelosi he warned us he, he really warned us. He said, this is the most evil woman I've ever met in my entire life. She has no position being in politics whatsoever. Get her out. And boom, there she is. Boom, there she is. Well, you should. Uh, all right. Why don't you show your numbers? I don't know how to do that. Um, so closed for through April 27th, that week of uh, 508 closed sales per day. 622 pending sales per day listings were up last week. So, um, and they're up again. It looks like they're up again this week. They were in the eight hundreds last week. They're in the seven forties this week for the week of ending in April 27th. So listings seem to be on an uptick, which is interesting to me. Uh, I guess people are tired of their golden handcuffs and they're finally realizing they just need to 
probably move on with their life, get out of the smaller home into a larger one, or get out of the large home into a smaller one. Um, like it's abusive relationship. It is. It is an abusive. It's yeah. well. Well, they could be using them. Yeah, they could be using them. <laughs> Some people call that abuse. Some people call that wow, that was hot. <laughs> um, we're still in a positive numbers as far as people closing sales, entering escrow, and listing property. This is what people think will happen. We're not people, but real tours. Um, and that's down a bit, but we're still in the in the positive numbers. We still have a positive attitude coming into. Can you believe it's May? Yes, I can. Oh my gosh! That means before you know it, it'll be end of June. Yeah, shush. Yeah, before no, you know it, no shush. No, you shush. No, no. I no, know what no. you're going to be happy about at the end of June. Yeah, I'm going to no longer be. I, I'm doing it wrong. I've enjoyed my time as president. You've done a really good job. I want to move on. I want to be in the back. I want to sit back at the back table and make fun of everybody. <laughs> I, I can't. Do, I can only do that up front for so long, like yeah. one year. Yeah, but you've been doing a good job. Oh, thank you. All so. right. So the actual quote from Ronald Reagan about Nancy Pelosi reads, Nancy Pelosi is extremely evil. She comes from the Baltimore Democratic corruption machine. Uh, D. Alastroni family, both her father, Tom, and her brother, Tommy, were mayors of Baltimore, a well-oiled, corrupt Democratic family. Mm, there you so go. It wasn't just she was evil. He was quoting. He the, gave her. He gave the background. Yeah, too. the dad and the brother were both. So that's Ronald Reagan. Yeah, from the grave. From the grave. All right. So what's going on this weekend? Uh, you get to go to a Rotary stuff. Ooh. Yeah, I think. Aren't you going to? No, it's only incoming, mm. not outgoing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the only one coming in. You should have been more than that. You yeah, should have I know, I know, I know. And you know what? You can't. It's a volunteer position. You can't make people go. Um, you incentivize them. I I'll buy you lunch. No, no, I'm not doing it. It's free lunch. <laughs> but they don't know that. They don't. Um, and I got a I got a little Cinco de Mayo celebration um, going to be happening around my neighborhood. Um, I t tomorrow's supposed to be raining and drop like 700 degrees. Yeah, you know what? I so I hope the first weekend in May next year is going to be okay. Yeah, no kidding. It makes <laughs> us think about because this is it, this is May third, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, look, May 3rd, beautiful. So we're fine. <laughs> we're supposed to be in the 80s today. Uh, slight breeze coming out of the north, northwest at about two miles per hour. Really? You know, I mean, you're making that up. up. Yeah. 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 Like you always, I always wanted to be a weather boy. You, most of the stuff you make up. Hey, man. weather boy. Oh, let me um, give you an update. Um, remember that file of mine that we're waiting on the seller? Oh, yeah. That, all that issue. Yeah. Well, guess what? They decided to do what I said to do like a week and a half ago, which what? is just record it with the transaction got you okay so they're like can you get it done so i sent in the stuff to the underwriter to get a sign finalized yep. and we're getting ready to clear close oh your verification of appointment for the grandson needs to be updated because it's outdated by 10 days oh okay. by the way he left 426 his job oh i had that happen once i haven't had that happen till now in my whole career i had it happen once and we actually <clears throat> the wife thought eh, we qualified we got docs we signed oh they did send the funding check to title we were going to record the next day they checked uh verification of employment again just for kicks and giggles yeah but they don't usually they don't do that anymore this was i know but this was in like 91 well yeah. <laughs> and guess what she had done she quit her job too yeah two weeks before well this one was like well you know we qualified without it from the beginning i go yeah as a, a, a investment property Right. But the reason you put him on is he's going to live there. He might as well be a primary resident. I'd have to get a new appraisal, rework the whole loan. When can he go back to his old job? Or when does he start his new job? Well, he starts training next week. Oh, is he going into the military or no. something? No, same job. Oh. Same type of job. Just same. where he get. it's like, okay, I need one day of work so I can get a verification of employment. I just need one day. When's that going to happen? Three weeks hmm. from now. Yeah. People do not change, don't change job things. period could have waited one more week well they wanted him right away okay if they wanted him right away he could have said oh i'll be here right away right after my loan closes yeah now yeah. you don't have a house how about call your lender i've already i told they she said the, the grandma who's helping him was like hey he might be i go no not until this is over and they're blaming the seller no you can't blame the seller because he had issues with you're so the stupid. one to quit the job exactly it's not his fault 
Wow. It is potentially, you can blame him, but let's take some responsibility for who actually chose to leave a job that was approved to go to another job. That's not, I mean, if you went to the job right away and you started and you're working, no big deal. I could have got verification appointment within a day and we're good move. Yeah. But now, oh, he's in training and then he has to do this and then he starts to know that's, you don't have a job. You have a potential job. I go, do you have a letter? Uh, Cause the other thing you can do is if it's a salary position or, or if it's an hourly, you can go get an exception. Right. right. And I said, send me the letter of acceptance. It was a welcome letter. <laughs> we welcome you to the, to this, you know, for us, blah, blah, blah. You're going to have to go get a drug test and this other thing yeah. and go through this you and, then we'll, anything, yeah, you, and then we'll bring you on. Uh, welcome to step one. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a that's not an employment letter. You have now become almost accepted to be a Freemason. <laughs> and, okay, and as I always say, time kills all deals. Exactly. And and how long has this deal been going on? Too long. Yeah, it was supposed to close beginning of May, of April. Gee, many Christmas. That's, that, that's many on the, that had to do with some you know modification the dude did that didn't get recorded exactly. properly over two years ago. Right. Thirty six thousand dollars. Yeah, well, it's the, yeah. Uh, oh, it's my primary residence, but it keeps going to my other house oh. <laughs> that I don't live at. Well, wouldn't that you, had a renter in it? Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't you think? Wow, I haven't made a payment on this in a long time. Well, no, it's I know. I, 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 I whenever I, I heard everything that the gentleman had said to his agent, who referred it to us, I was like, okay, let's decipher this. Uh, I, I didn't make a payment for a year and a half. I didn't make a payment for three years. Yeah. Um, I, I, they added it to the end of my loan on my principal balance. Right. Into, there is no end of the loan. There's principal ba balance increase. They don't add. The only time it's added to the end of the loan is if you do a refinance and extend your, your term. Then you've actually added it on to the end of the loan because you added more time onto the end of your loan. Right. Anyway. I've gone from a 15 year to a 60. <laughs> All right, I'm done complaining. Uh, I'm so, I'm moral of the story, do not, do not make any changes. Do not buy anything. Yeah. Hey, read that there's, there's a new lawsuit out there against house seekers. Uh, this guy. This, What's a house seeker? It's a, it was a company that, you know, is like a, a buyer brokerage or um, this okay. guy is claiming that he was forced to pay more money for the property because of the commission. Oh my God. At least that's how they're basically reporting it. I'm paraphrasing what they said, but that's what it boils down to. That can't be further from the truth in any way, shape or form. And I would hope that the courts could figure this out. Of course, they are seeking a jury trial, so okay. nobody will figure it out. No, please, they, they, they're definitely going to figure it out and, and go against you guys. Yeah. Please. Jury trial. Defense. Have good attorneys. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Yeah. Well, the worst part, is, so the, uh, I think came out the other day, what this is going to really do is before you take anybody out, get a buyer agreement to put together before you show the property, yep. before you do anything with yeah. anybody. This is stuff that should have been done a long time ago, but everybody was afraid because they'll just go with somebody else. Well, now you don't have a choice because yeah. they won't go. If they go with somebody else, they'll have to fill out the same thing. I am so afraid. <laughs> is that your new song? It's going to be, I'm writing it right now. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, get AI to help you because you writing <laughs> sucks right now. <laughs> All right, everybody, make it a great day. We'll talk to you on Monday. Have a good weekend. See Enjoy ya. the cooler weather. No, don't. Yes, do. Revolt. No. Just keep, it, just keep it as long as possible. No. Yes. No. Yes. Bye. June will be here before you know it, and, and hotness in July will be here extremely fast. Gotcha. All right, make it a great day. Thanks bye, for being bye. here. See you guys on Monday.